Now, I know some of you might be asking, well, it's out. You know, you got to review the game early, uh, and now that the game's finally out, what do you think of it? And honestly, after many hours of playing this game and really going in-depth in certain areas and taking advantage of certain mechanics in the game, the question arises for many people, is this game of the year? And for me, it's up in the air. The year the year has just started. We've only really gotten a few games, period. Just a, literally a few games. Nothing super monumental. So going off of that, there isn't much really to go off of. There isn't really much to the table that I can really almost pick from. It's not like I'm here giving you guys my, like, oh, Elden Ring is the best thing ever because... We haven't seen really the best thing ever yet, in my opinion. Elden Ring is a game. It is a game. I could say that for sure. But is it the game of the year? Who knows? It's only March so far. I can't really say if this is game of the year or not. And honestly, I want to hold my opinion until that time comes, but... From what I've played so far in my multiple runs and my multiple adventures with this game, I can honestly say that without a doubt, this game is kind of trash. Not only does it hamper the player late game, it also really emphasizes in the beginning of the game that you will not have fun. This game is not about fun. This game is about how can I try to min-max and get my PvP build so I can go fight this stupid boss and then have to go reallocate my stats anyways because this game is favoring of certain stats. It honestly just makes it not really that fun of a game to play, especially certain areas that are just literally poison swamps that they just threw everywhere because they didn't know what to do. It honestly feels super lackluster, and for a game that everybody was waiting years for, it's very disappointing to say that this is what we got, and honestly, this is what we're going to keep getting from a company like FromSoft if they're going to continue with this lazy pattern that they've been showing recently. It's a shame that we have to sit here and deal with laziness from a company that in the past has shown that they can give us great stuff. Now, I don't want to ge- like compare this game to Dark Souls 2 because they're different games, but they take a lot from... like Elden Ring takes a lot from Dark Souls 2. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. And honestly, I feel like some of those systems were implemented better in Dark Souls 2.